Welcome back to Science Sundays. Today we are exploring the art of hydro dipping and how it applies to the hydrophobic and hydrophilic properties of water. Here's our friend Kristen Urquidez with her sons Drew and Connor exploring a hydro dipping kit they found at the craft store and the science behind it. So these are the rocks. It did come with rocks um, or you can you know get your own and basically how this works is the kit comes with these printed designs so you get to pick your favorites. They've got a variety of I ones. I choose this one. I choose the universe. Yeah. I'm gonna do this one next. Okay, so they both kind of picked out the designs that they want to start with. And we have plenty of rocks. Um, so they can do a couple. And so the way this one works is you take your rock and you take your design that you're gonna do. And on the back side of it, it's kind of got like a cardboard or you know, paper board. You trace your rock, making it a little bit bigger than the actual size of the rock because it's going to wrap around it. And then what we need to do is we need to cut out our design that we just traced. So we're going to cut it out. I'm going to show one and then the boys are going to take over and hydro dip their rocks after we kind of do one together. Yeah. Yeah. So they're very excited. So there's a lot of science that goes behind hydro dipping, um, both in our kind of very simple version and the ones that you see in professional body shops. And um, yeah, so you peel the plastic layer off and then we basically need to activate it. That's our hydro dip part. Okay. So we're gonna set this in the water and we're gonna let it sit for about 15 or 20 seconds. And what you notice, the paper on the back, it's obviously getting wet. The design is getting wet, but the ink, you notice there's no ink in my water, right? It's not like food coloring where it kind of goes throughout all the water. It's been like 20 seconds. Well, it's getting there. And so what's unique about hydro dipping, it uses um, some really cool science. Um, there's two terms we need to know when we're dealing with water. One is hydrophobic. And that means something that does not like water. So an example are fats and oils. Um, if you've ever tried to mix oil and water together, they don't mix. Hydrophilic is something that is water loving. And so things like watercolors, um, things that don't mind water will mix well with water. So the science behind this is the type of ink that you use. All right, so now we've got our activated hydro dip Film. I'm going to take my rock and I'm going to set it on. Yeah, it's a little bit different than the videos. And then what they recommend doing is to basically take this and kind of crumble it up so that we can wrap that film that we hydro dipped around and we might do it for like 20 or 30 seconds. Yeah, you can let the sponge. Okay, so once we kind of do that, we're going to check and see how we've done. And so this is actually already peeling itself off pretty well by itself. I peel the rest of it off and then, is use, that wet? Yeah, yeah, you can use the sponge to even it out. Yeah, if you want to kind of dab some spots that are still kind of sticking up. But then we've got our hydro dipped rock. Because the, our design, our ink didn't come off in the water, it stuck to the next thing that I stuck it to, which was the rock. What if you and stuck it to my hand? Then it would be on your hand until you washed it off. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> All right, so now the boys are gonna do um, their versions of the designs that they chose, and we are going to see how that comes out. Hold it up so we can see it. Nice. This was the box. All right, so fun kit. We learned some science about hydrophobic and hydrophilic substances, but we needed the hydrophobic film in order to transfer it on our design. So we got these cool designs on our rock. Can we put a design on my forehead? No, we will not be doing that. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining us, and we hope you have a wonderful summer. Please. Bye. Now, as you can tell, Kristen and the boys had a lot of fun with this one. So to see this full 16 minute episode and to learn more of the science behind this art, just head over to our website, turn to 23.com forward slash science Sundays. Have a great week back to school and we'll see you next weekend.